to Dragon Ball Super Dunk. It probably won't take us long. There's quite a bit on, right, on that's, the list. That's second half. That's yeah. part two. Yeah. That's how it goes. We had, <laughs> that's how we've almost always done it. And it's almost over. And we can break tradition. And so it goes. We've heard this a thousand times before. And it goes something like this. Welcome to Phantom Nonsense. I'm Zach. I'm Aaron. I'm Coco. And I'm also Nolan. That was probably super loud. Yeah, you yelled at everybody. I, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oopsies poopsies. And, as uh, they say. Heard but not seen. Rick Ball's working the camera for us tonight. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Working and twerking. Right there oh, in the back. Yeah. Does, does he have a microphone? It is right yeah, actually yeah, impressive. He can constantly twerk while typing. It's like fascinating. Work, work. I understand how he does it in a chair. <laughs> Easy. It's the easiest place to do it. I mean, yeah, he's standing. Is it the easiest place to twerk? Or? I can't really move this up with cheese. Man. So I hope you guys had a good, uh, good couple of weeks. Sorry we weren't able to get one to you last week, but we had a great time in Louisville. And if you Head over to the 3 LMN channel. We'll be putting up a special uh, video from that experience sometime this week. It was quite the time. It was. But that means there are two weeks to catch up on on conversation of the fandom nonsense variety. Hmm. And there's so... Uh, what happened? Oh, they dropped a trailer for uh, My Hero Academia Season 3. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it looked so good. So, so good. And I'm I still haven't caught up. To season three. I haven't finished season two. I haven't either. Really? Really? Yeah, I'm in the midst of season two. I think the last I, the last episode I caught up on was the last one, was the first episode you ever showed me of My Hero Academia, which is uh, main character versus the ice icy hot. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. no, um, that is actually one of my favorite fights because Dude. Like, that's one thing I always want to explain to you, Mister. I haven't watched My Hero Academia. Uh, one of the characters, his name is. I see how. She. She. I say it was like, she. She. I see how. Uh, it's been so long since I've read. She. 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 His. His dad. Japan is such a beautiful language. His. <laughs> his dad is the number two hero underneath like uh, All Might, and mm. so he's always like. I told been, him like, All Might. He's been really resentful about All Might his entire life, and so he had an arranged marriage where he married a woman who had ice powers and had multiple children until he could have a child that was half ice, half fire power. Right. And, like, the ice is so, like, cold that it can be sparked by fire. Like, the, the frost can be sparked by his fire. And so, like, he refuses to use his fire powers because how much he hates his dad because his mom, like, hated the marriage so much he, like, like burned his face with boiling water because she was like, I can't stand that hat, that side of you. Doesn't he icy like, that that side of him? No, he's got like the scar on his face. Oh, okay. And then like he looks like he looks like what half haired Zuko. Yeah. And yeah. But he's still such a badass character. And then um, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can't remember his name. Yeah. I can't either. It's been a mess. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. I like because I stopped watching. I think almost one more. And then, like, I started reading oh, all of season three, and <clears throat> I got into that right when I got into Hunter x Hunter. Uh, and Hunter x Hunter was just so fucking awesome. I think it's made by the same show. creator of Yu Yu Hakusho. What his obsession with dudes in green? I don't know. That is, does seem to be a theme. You're not wrong. And tournament fighting, like yeah. a specific kind of tournament yeah. fighting. A specific kind of tournament. Yeah. The, in Hunter x Hunter, whenever he grabs, um, uh, whoa, fuck, what's his name? White haired kid. Um, I it's right there. Sunny. It's right there. I keep forgetting mm. everybody's names. Um, he grabs like his older brother comes in. He's like talking about how his little brother shouldn't have lost and everything else. He like mm. he like grabs his arm and tells him like he shouldn't be talking about him like that. It's really rude. And the dude's like, I don't fucking care what you think. And like he breaks his arm right. holding it. Yeah. Like, he straight breaks the dude's <laughs> arm. And the dude doesn't even flinch. He's just like, this guy just broke my arm. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's life. Yeah, it was. It, it's such a badass show. Like there's been a lot of solid. Solid animes that have come out. Damn, Speaking of which, so many leagues beyond uh, PBS. Like, right? Oh I man, I have not. I I'm but, the one who stopped getting the leagues for PBS. Like I refuse to watch anything anymore. I'm just like it's finishing out. Is that if, what you said, right? The leagues no, to DBS? No, no, no. Oh, I'm I said, sorry. I said uh, the animation is leagues beyond. Leagues. Okay. Oh. Uh, they said the anime is with leagues to DBS or something like that. I don't know. Have, that's all I heard was that. The, although, you know, Dragon Ball and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I see the most, like, overlay in the yeah. animes. Yeah. I mean, that and uh, The Road Warrior, or whatever that show was called. 
The one with Mel Gibson? No. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh. The one with the guy who can like punch people. He went up against Cell in the TFS. Mm-hmm. Uh, one Punch Man? Is the one guy that likes no, to, no, no. the one guy that wanted to eat him? The one that guy that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah. The, he says movie. something and he, like Cell breaks in half and then he goes, okay, <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? <Yeah. laughs> Actually, those have, Cell games are like my favorite oh, yeah. things. That, one of my favorite things TFS did. Have either of y'all seen the anime Blue Exorcist? Yeah. Yeah? That's all too. I just started it yeah. the other day. Man, it is... What happens in the beginning of it? In Blue Exorcist? Yeah. Isn't he like in an alley getting uh... Okay, yeah, you already got it. Okay. You're good. I don't want to spoil it for <laughs> no one. You should... Okay. I've heard so many good things about it, and I've never watched it, and then I watched it for the first time, uh, night before last. I watched the first, like, six episodes, and oh, man. What's the premise? Um, this guy, this kid and his brother are both... Uh, sons, they're mixed sons of a woman, a human woman, and Satan. Have you ever played Devil May Cry? Yeah. It's imagine Devil May Cry except your job's to vanquish demons. Yeah. Or okay. ghouls of a sort. Speaking of ghouls, Tokyo Ghoul. This kid, oh, fed, fantastic. Oh, yeah. They have a new those, something coming out? Those, Re- oh, sorry. I'm sorry. The, those t- uh, the two kids were raised on Earth because Satan didn't, like, didn't bring them back with him. Because it, you know... Daddy Child support dead. and whatnot, yeah, dead. <laughs> but it, but they were raised by a priest, and like one of them is going to be a uh, an exorcist, where the other one just figures out that he is the son of, of the devil, and he actually has all the powers of the son of the, uh, of the devil. But his brother does not. His brother, but his brother's an executioner, and he is figuring out he has all these powers. Hmm. Um. It's really cool. Like I didn't, I didn't like. I, I knew the premise of it to begin with, and I was already kind of like, eh. But now, actually watching the first few episodes of it, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's same voice actor as Kirito uh, in uh, Sword Art Online. Yeah, I was uh, getting ready to mention the Fatal uh, Fatal Bullet just came out, the new game, and apparently yeah. it's super good. And it, it looks really cool. And last night, um, right after they dropped uh, Dragon Ball or Goku Blanco. They dropped the DLC for Xenoverse Two, where you get to be Super yeah. Saiyan White. And I was like, "That's it's not Super Saiyan." Well, it's, it's I mean, it's it's Goku Ultra hey, it's Go- Goku Goku Limit Breaker. Limit Breaker. Go- Limit Breaker. I wish they had a better name than Ultra Instinct. The same guy. Yeah. yeah. Same. I, mean, I, I, I especially like, with the with the it's not spoilers, but especially with like the the speech that Whis gives leading leading yeah, up exactly. to it. He's like giving all this like. Like, like, like he's about to announce what the form should yeah, be called. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? But yeah. instead, you just like, I mean, he's not in Ultra Instinct form. He's using Ultra Instinct I as right. something else. You what, know what I mean? I mean, if he ends up going Super Saiyan while in it, I would like to see what that would look like. Or is would it just Ultra still be Instinct, white? Probably. Is Ultra Instinct a form or is it a power? The way we use it's, it's a power. Way... Anybody can use Ultra right. Instinct. Well, but anybody that's I would say it's more of a state, more of, a state of, of mind. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Because in the Whis, uh, Whis's, um so speech about him, get... he basically said like Goku is, knows that he's not as strong as Jiren and that he is he's losing everything if he loses this fight. He is like that's when he started closing his eyes and he just went right. into yeah. doing it. It was no longer about like trying to fight. Yeah. It was about that winning. Smile, he wasn't using his senses. Know. That yeah. smile that Whis had whenever oh, yeah. he saw exactly. him, whenever he saw Goku close his eyes, it, it, it cut to Whis and he's just like, mm, But before we discuss good. that too yeah, much, say, oh, yeah. um, I'm sure you guys all know this now, but if you don't, uh, Infinity War has been moved up to April 27th. Did it? I, yeah. I thought it was May 4th was the original yeah. date? Yeah. Okay. It was actually really, really cool. Um, yeah. Often get to see that. Uh, Who no, was it? I think it, I think yeah. it was. Um, it was either Downey Jr. or Hemsworth or somebody was tweeting back and forth with Marvel Studios, like, "Hey, I want to go see. I want to go see uh, see the Avengers a week early with my friends." Like, and Marvel Studios, like, "Oh, you mean like tag like all the actors in the movie?" Like, no, I mean everybody. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. Like, it was, I mean, it was a really cool marketing campaign, wait. and like, you, fuck yeah. They announced uh, they announced future movies up to 2023 mm-hmm. as they well. Did, they did. I didn't look uh, at the list though. Doctor Strange two, cool. Uh, another Guardians of the Galaxy, mm-hmm. Black Widow standalone movie. Really? Yeah. That's the that's the only one, one, one. That's the only one in there that was worthwhile. Everything else is a sequel. I mean, they still have Ca- uh, Miss Mar- Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, yeah, right? Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel as well. That was Captain, another one that was Captain Marvel. Miss Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. that's DC. Miss Marvel. Yep. Yeah. Miss Marvel's. Marvel. Yeah. Wait, then who am I thinking of? 
There's there's a Captain Marvel. In there's Captain Marvel in DC. Captain she's Marvel. yeah. She's one of uh. She's one of Darkseid's uh. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. What does she yeah, call? Yeah. What does um, he call them? Darkseid's ch- uh, chicks. Or what does Granny the, Goodness the, call the them? The people in Apocalypse. Uh, the women. Gods? The women, not parademons, oh, not parademons. No no. Uh, Darkseid, uh, Darkseid's uh, number one. Uh, Granny Goodness has uh, these like fi- like this group of women that uh, Captain Marvel used to uh, not Captain Marvel they, fuck I cannot remember his name her name um, Big Bardo Big Bardo, Big Bardo. what what's the name of the, tr- the the troop of women that were on Apocalypse they called them. Oh, Granny uh, Goodness called them something that's it wasn't it wasn't yeah no it wasn't that it wasn't like Captain Marvel no no I know that I was I was mistaking Big Bardo for Captain Marvel cool. okay. I mean, you have a computer guy. Um, yeah, I, there's Captain Marvel in DC. Is Dark uh, Side now? She's female female Furies. So yeah, the, the Furies. Yeah, the Furies. Yeah. Yeah. Femme Fatale. God, man, if they if they're actually gonna put Dark Side in the live action movies, I would like to see them. I would love to see Granny Goodness. Yeah, but the I, biggest thing is, is that she has to be manly. Yeah, I'm saying like I. Right. She's such a she has to look like character. a she has to look like I mean, a woman, but be manly. You know how great that would be to all the liberals around. All I'm, all I'm saying is Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. 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 Let's find somebody who can pull off, off androgynous. What's, that, what's the name of the guy that started? <coughs> yeah. 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 Make Tim, Ooh, Tim which, Curry would be such a good granny goodness. Actually, he really, really he would. would. Oh He's, my God. Have you seen Tim Curry in Criminal Minds? Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Or just what he looks like now in yeah, general. Exactly. Put, put a yeah. white wig on him of an old woman and he is in. Get him a fat suit, maybe. Uh, the only problem with Dark Side being in the DC movies is Ben Grimm in anything. My only problem is how badly <laughs> fan for, for yeah. fan for stick or fantastic <laughs> Silver Surfer, either of them. <laughs> how badly uh, they did. Speaking of that, but go on. How badly they did Steppenwolf. I'm super not excited, and and also they did they did Steppenwolf oh, awfully Steppenwolf was terrible. in yeah. a Justice League movie, but. <laughs> Not arguing. And yeah. <laughs> another another bad thing. The the one thing I haven't liked about any of these new Fifty Two movies is only in Justice League War, and that is Dark Side. Dark Side was so awfully oh, he was like written. A, he was a bitch. I am entropy. I uh, no, he wasn't a bitch. He was a just he was just a straight brutalist. He had nothing but awful, terrible was, lines. I mean, it, Dark it, Side is a genius. In Dark Side and Lex Luthor work together a, like not a lot, but they they've worked together on multiple occasions. Like he's he's a diplomat. He is a I want to see a, He's much more than just a very strong guy who can fight Superman. Man, much more than that. Justice League 2 kill off Batman with a boom tube, send him back in time. Let him make a whole Ben Affleck spin off of Ben of Affleck him? going yeah. to different eras in time. Being Batman. I mean, yeah, if <laughs> If it's just going to be a convoluted mess, that man versus fun. the crap, yeah, right? If we're gonna have, if we're gonna have such a fucking mess, like it's DC, it people, should be fun. People will go watch a movie. If you tell me Ben Affleck's in it, I'm gonna go watch it. Yeah. You tell me it's about Batman, I'm definitely gonna go watch it. I may hate it the entire time I'm sitting there. But, but you're gonna watch it's it. It's like when I go to a restaurant, I order food. If I don't like the food, I don't complain. I just at the end of the meal say that was terrible. Suicide Squad Two was that. also announced. And I just walked away. Speaking was of it really? sequels, yeah, it, it was announced. It's a different director <laughs> this time. Good, because well, I mean, I liked uh, Bright, but. And 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 watch. But I don't think it was. I'm not going to really blame the direct direction as much as oh, right. studio, right. studio interference. Uh, yeah. Because oh, well, we have to make sure we have this and like yeah. oh, and casting. Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. I shouldn't. Smith. Yeah, it, they should yeah. not have put Will Smith in there. Uh, Will Smith would have made an excellent Deadshot if he wasn't Will Smith while he was being Deadshot. Was it Deadshot? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was exactly. It. It's like they put him alongside that other. Um, what's her name? The. Uh, Mar- Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie, yeah. Uh, Rain Man, and getting back to something. Rain Man, Sean Penn? Yeah. Uh, Fox developing Silver Surfer movie. Mm. That's awesome! Ooh, actually. That's super cool! Because I'm at, super excited about that. That'd be a good point to kill off Robert Downey Jr.'s character if they don't do it in Infinity War because at, some, yeah. at one point Silver Surfer dies and uh, Iron Man ends up becoming the leader uh, for... Um, Power uh, Cosmic? Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, yeah. yeah. and then yeah. and so he goes and meets the Guardians of the Galaxy and like fights against they, the Guardians fight Iron Man and he works with them to defeat right. not defeat but push him away. Right. So that would be interesting. That'd and be then cool. they would end up replacing Robert Downey Jr. with the African American woman. Mm. You know what I'm talking? About? I can't remember what her name is. I'm sorry. African American woman. The Hollywood Reporter reported that be. Fox is developing a Silver Surfer standalone movie, which is being written by none other than Eisner, 
award-winning writer Brian uh, K. Vaughn. Little else is known about the project at this point. Silver Surfer previously made his big screen debut in that one movie that we're not going to talk about too <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah. Fantastic Four 2. Yeah. What are they called? Fantastic, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Rise of the Silver Surfer, yeah. yeah. Fantastic yeah. 42? Fan 4 stick. Mm-hmm. The meaning yeah, of life. Fan five that was stick because it's obviously fan the fight stick. No, fan, fan four stick was was the reboot with the black with flash. With Michael Jordan, yeah, yeah, and he was apparently the black flash. I mean, black flash. Yeah, Flash Gordon. No, the he, black. The, yeah, back human torch. Yeah, same yeah. character. It's, oh, oh, wow! Well, I'm sorry, Johnny. I don't know Flame. why I heard like a funk version of the Flash Gordon theme by Queen in my head when you said that, Ooh. but I feel terrible about it. Flash. <laughs> 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 Savior of the universe. Talking about Flash. <laughs> talking about Flash. Talking about There's Shut also the matter of Gordon. The X-Men films that are in development. Uh, oh God! Same actors or new universe again? A whole new universe, probably. except for probably among Br- those are British X-Force, the, the Deadpool spinoff Split. movie directed by uh, Drew Goddard, which begins shooting this October, and the recently delayed New Mutants. Oh, Man, um, New Mutants looks so good, though. Blah 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 blah. Because it's horror. The long in development Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum has also been greenlit with its previously announced uh, June 7, twenty nineteen release. Man, we talked. They pushed that movie back. Like, yeah, we 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 talked about that on a on a previous episode. Very early. Yeah. 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 About how about I think that was the first episode of this one. Mm -hmm. Like you guys talked about. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally been greenlit. It's been greenlit. Man, I cannot can totally wait. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know what I said, (laughs) and I mean it the way I'm saying it. Channing Tatum. I can. I just can't see him as a good game. That's my problem. Is like it's 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 gonna be Magic Mike with, with, the, with, the, with the Creole <laughs> yeah. accent. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really. Can he that. do the accent? Oh yeah, I'm, definitely. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not the Creole thing. thing. Yeah. When you have a card like between his butt cheeks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shake it out. I twerk it and throw it. Really okay. I can tell you, he his performance in Hateful Eight gives me faith Does that it? he can. He is an okay actor. Times. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna. He was still my least favorite part about that movie. I think he's capable of it and. He needs to bring it what to was that one? With I, d- I didn't even. I, I don't know. He was my least favorite part about the Hateful Eight. Okay, okay well, well, before we move on to another another topic, what's and you guys can join in on this at home if you want to. Please comment. Below. Who who do you think would make a good gambit? Uh, Ooh, oh, shit. I had this. Uh, I had this. One Paul time. Rudd. Shut up. <laughs> You're, if he wasn't already fucking uh, Ant Man, yeah, I don't think Paul Rudd have made would have made a good Gambit at all. I could, I, think, I could see it. I think of Gambit as being more imposing than I picture. Paul yeah, Rudd to be. I mean, well, yeah. who was uh, Gambit? But he's, like, he's someone's gonna be able to pull off that Southern charm. Yeah, he, he definitely doesn't need. I to could be Hugh Jackman. Um, <laughs> not that, no, that kind of Southern. <laughs> Owen Wilson. Whoa, whoa, mind blown. Whoa, whoa, that would be whoa. so awful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Wow. Luke wow. Wow. Luke Wilson. Wilson. Luke Wilson. Yeah. Uh, I was, no, still I no. I was going to say Norman Reedus might be good. Um, Keeper I, Sutherland. I Jenna Jeff Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Norman Reedus, I feel like because he's got a, quite the southern draw as it is. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Gambit. <laughs> Chef, Chef Gambit here. Take, my, um, take a card. Who else could I see playing? That's a hard choice. No, I like I. I honestly think that Norman Reedus is my only strong point. That I, that's the only that's the only person that I can pick. Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. I know the name. Oh, PT. Um, Death Stranding. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Walking Dead. Yeah. Daryl. Yeah. yeah. He's brother. Uh, I bro, that same, to come out, by bro, the way. Bro, Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Oh my uh, god, so good. Nuts. What's the movie? What's the movie that I'm thinking about? The, about? the two brothers, Saints, video, brother, brothers, Saints. And they're insane. Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints. 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 Row, row, row. Um, yeah. Brothers, Saints, row. Boondock brothers, Saints, Saints row. row. Yeah, uh, Death Stranding looks pretty interesting, man. Death Stranding has got my interest, like, because they totally fucked Kojima out of yeah. his Metal Gear series, like, and then ruined yeah. it. And then uh, very hard ruined PT, which was being directed by Kojima, right? And that's why it was such an excellent game. And then it went and scrapped that, and he's just like, "Hey Norman, what's going?" On? And then uh, there's a Guillermo in that too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the chubby one with the glasses. Whatever Guillermo, Guillermo that is, Guillermo. Guillermo del Toro, maybe. Guillermo del Toro. It's, like, it's the Pacific Rim guy. He directed it. Yeah, the big dude with glasses. Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay. Then yeah, he's he's a character in the game. Like, I forgot that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh. Is he? I don't think he's I thought you looked at me like I was wrong. I, I was know, like I would have said something. I do not think he's directing the second Pacific Rim. Oh, uh, I, he is, I believe. 
And Jordan Those are Roberts his. is also di- helping direct it. Jordan Robertson? The uh, the guy that uh, did uh, Kong Skull Island. Oh. oh okay. uh, that movie was... Wait, is that the new? Is that the newest one? Yeah, yeah I think Kong? so. Yeah. The one that's got uh, John C. Riley. Yeah, the, yeah, he was probably my favorite Ooh. part about that movie. I haven't seen that movie. Are you about to say John C. Riley's Gambit? Gambit? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the comedy is all there. <laughs> it's absolutely all there. No. Maybe uh, yes. uh worst me, idea uh, you've had. House. What? Yeah. Worst idea you've had. Who um best worst idea I've had. Okay, done. I agree. Louis Anderson. <laughs> Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Louis C.K. <laughs> um, Jerry Seinfeld. I mean I could just cheat yeah. and say Daniel Day Lewis. Maybe. Man, no, the only face that I'm thinking of is the guy that plays Bucky for uh, yeah, yeah, solid. Uh, for, for like, Gambit. If you're going to take that as an option, Jesus from The Walking Dead. Now, another thing is, Gambit's eyes, what are they always doing? They're not regular color. They're always like purple or something. Yeah, yeah he's got... Well, he's so he's got to have white, that. He's got the same kinetic... Yeah, white. Yeah, no, white. yeah, no, they're white. He's got that kinetic energy thing flowing through him. He can literally throw anything at you and make it explode. That's so cool. But he chooses cards. He chooses cards because he used to be a poker dealer and he knows how to throw I know, cards. Okay. But... He could pick up a desk, load it with kinetic energy, throw it at you. And like, doesn't he put like uh, energy at the end of his cane, or uh, his, yeah, uh, his uh, uh, bow staff? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. yeah, he puts it. He puts energy at the ends of it. And he's like, bat. Yeah, like if he's gonna like stick you real hard. It's like a, it's like a super conductive cattle prod. Mm, what Jesus. a cool power! That's right, like, right. Cool it's such a cool power. It would be great for him. Why do you think Gambit was so cool? Because Jubilee. No, yeah. man, fuck no. Gambit was the right Jubilee. Jubilee was cool. Jubilee, like Jubilee, Jubilee was not cool. Ju- what was that okay, buddy? Jubilee wasn't cool. Who's Jubilee? Uh, <laughs> Ju- uh, Jubilee Jasmine, now is that, is that girl that's in Deadpool. Yeah, well, Supersonic no. Teenage well, Wasteland. Uh, Jubilee was in the last Warhead. X-Men movie. Jubilee was in the last X-Men movie. Was she? Yeah. 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 That's why I don't remember it. Yeah. Was she? Who mm-hmm. was she? Wait. She was the girl in the, a... in the yellow trench coat. Yeah. Does she have... Who's I don't Asian remember that. With the colored hair. Yeah. It's a very forgettable movie. Yeah, yeah. she's a very forgettable character. Yeah, I know. It's it's basically... By the way, shittier Jubilee. Yeah. Was she Jubilee at least shot like like flares out of her yeah. fingers. Dazzler just made shit. sparkles come out of her hands. Yeah. Uh, Emma I'm not... Frost? Is that her name? Emma Frost? The Diamond Lady? Yeah. Emma Frost? Yeah. yeah. She was a good character. She was cool. The only oh, person yeah. you could potentially see as being a romantic interest for the older Professor Xavier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just uh, I did like seeing I'm really uh, interested Professor Xavier in Days of Future's Past because in the Deadpool two movie they have Cable. Cable is uh, Jean Grey and Scott Summers' son, right? Yep. So, like future son, but grown up. But uh, and I would like to see like I hope they explain the teleport the te- yeah, right, young Cable <laughs> the teleportation thing because like Deadpool wasn't able to teleport until Cable met him and Cable met and then they got in an accident. I don't know how it works, but it's I know like they're like linked. Right? Like, Right. Something happened. I don't know. Like now, like I think anytime Deadpool teleports, it affects him. I don't know. I'm probably. I don't wrong. think so. I think it's like a belt wrong. that has a teleport. Uh, Deadpool? Deadpool? Yeah. No, he's just able to do Cable, it because he breaks the fourth wall. Cable had one that. That's just a thing that. There, there, that's different though. No, there's, there. He ha- like physically has the ability to teleport. I yeah, thought, yeah. I thought Cable oh, because had of one. a belt. Yeah. I think Cable that's had the belt. Yeah. And then something happened. Yeah. And now he can Deadpool and him can both just teleport. Right. Uh, because it was like a time travel. Yeah. Right? That's what he used. Something like that. Yeah. I haven't read a cable, anything with Cable since I was seven years old. Man, I cable, had a cable is like, old Deadpool cable. Man, like that's awesome. Cable. That's super cool. Man, to think about this, a little, little food for thought. There's a Deadpool about, classic one that's really good too. I believe it. Man. Not Deadpool comics are just really good, really well yeah. done. But food for thought. You got this playing Cable, also playing Thanos, Josh yeah. Brolin. Josh, yeah. Before he had, before he was in talks with Marvel. Did you know he played W? No. Well, uh, oh no, he God. played he played Agent K. That's before That's what I'm about to talk about. He was a, he was Agent K from the past in Men in Black Three. Yeah. But before he was in talks with Marvel, he was a part. He was a I don't know if I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he auditioned to be Batman before Ben Affleck. I would watch. That would have been better. Yeah. There was a. I said that the kid from. Um... I might be wrong about the audition, but I know that that there were talks of that, and he would have been a. They were wanting to go for an older Batman. Yeah, he would have done excellent for the... Uh, he would have been yeah. perfect. Yeah, they, perfect. Uh, Sorry, Batfleck. You were okay. But he, Brolin would have been they, the they, best Batfleck. They still went for the same approach. You're too old for the Yeah, I still got the... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, I, don't, I don't blame 
Affleck for what happened to either one of his performances. Well, it was I don't blame him. Yeah, the but it, bad writing, bad direction. I don't blame him for. And no, he and still no he still did an okay job. Yeah, exactly. Him. Even I, even in Justice League, he still did an okay job for the, for the lines he was given. And from what we've seen of him, I would honestly say that next to Keaton, who I really don't even enjoy that much, no. but I would say that. I would say that Affleck is the most balanced between yes. playing Bruce Wayne yes. and being Batman. And I yeah. mean, oh he bat- has a good. He brings a good job to both roles. The Batman's that the, the Batman scenes that they have given for for the movies that have had Batfleck in it have been awesome. You like, I really like Batman that. versus Superman was uh, in Batman costume was the most Batman you've ever seen Batman whenever he's fighting. Yeah, like it's uh, been the best and in Justice. League. I like how they went to the new the new school gray. Scale yeah. instead of going like the black. Yeah, same. no, that uh, like in Batman vs Superman, thinking about the scene where he's going to save Martha Kent, mm-hmm. like that fight scene alone, I was just yeah, the, perfect. The one, the moment, like except for when he, he lets a, like two dudes get blown up by a grenade. Whenever he, <laughs> what about when he like hit a bunch of them with his car? I was talking about after that. Okay. <laughs> Superman's death was a like a like an overcoming that anger point for him. That movie is literally nothing but a development of Batman. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Batman getting over his murder crush. Have you noticed that Batman it's called a rage is perfectly fine yes. with using bombs? Yeah. Even though he doesn't want to use guns? No, absolutely. Like, he, Batman, doesn't, he doesn't use... Does he use just like he straight... He like explosives. Yeah, he uses explosive rounds like... like at one point he, he normally shot uses missiles. no. He normally uses rubber shots. No, he, no. I mean, like he never will like throw a bomb at somebody, but he'll like blow up part of the building. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some three, 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 three right, standing right. there. It's like it's like other. he gets mad at Superman because the scale that he has yeah. is destroying entire cities, but he's doing it on a smaller scale. But that's okay. Yeah. You know, that's okay. You gotta clean up the streets, man. Yeah. How else are you supposed to teach him a lesson? You know, one building going down is fine, but you tore up an entire fucking city. Well, no, let's not let's not get too carried away. He only really gave a shit because. He Torn down his, the bank of the yeah Wayne no if that if that dude Wayne wouldn't have become crippled he'd been fine yeah. if he wouldn't have, he, if he wouldn't have had to put his arm around that girl as she pointed to her daddy being dead upstairs mm-hmm. he'd have been fine he's not even worried that? about it I'd love to have this conversation for the hundredth time right um <clears throat> I you ooh. actually set me up for a pretty good transition to the next topic which is Chris Hemsworth is in talks for new Man in Black movie. Men in Black movie? Mm-hmm. They were supposed to be doing a 21 Jump Street slash Men yep. in Black crossover. Um, Why? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, the kids. Because uh, it's the way it's... <laughs> we're getting later in the 2000s. This is a thing that movie studios do where they're like, hey, this thing makes money and this thing makes money. Let's them together. What if we just you jam ever, them together? You remember that movie Space Jam? <laughs> 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 it had nothing to do with space. The Hollywood Reporter reveals it first did. bit of plot details yeah, for the film, which they say really? takes place in London and centers scene. around a new combination of characters that include a white character, a black woman, and an older man. Progressive. Nice. The Untitled Men in Black spinoff will not feature Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones, but it will expand on the original trilogy. This will be a different project from the aborted 21 Jump, Jump Street uh, franchise, franchise mashup, MIB 23. They should just make it a TV show and make me hate it even more. There you go. MIB. Like, that's it. That's you, it. Wait, Fuck you, that. Did you watch the 21 Jump Street TV show? Or yeah, well, yeah. TV show? The cartoon? Yeah. Wait, it was yeah. awesome. No, yeah. the, oh, the Men in Black cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah, was that fine. Was but that's a cartoon. No, you don't think there would be something funny about that? Without about without Mi- without Will Smith? I must say Michael Jackson. Without Will Smith and fucking Tommy Lee Jones? No. I mean, if they're not, if they're not bringing back their characters, then that's, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. yeah, like, I'm, I'm fine but, with them exploring. It probably won't be as but good Agent because Agent J, right? That was yeah. Was Agent J and Agent K. He should have been like. He should probably be like the leader of the MIB by now, right? Okay. No. Or K. No. Because K K got out. He's done. Yeah. 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 I about said Bonesaw, but his name's Rip Torn. That was close. Bonesaw. They both sound like pro wrestling. Exactly. Names. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Rip Torn will always be the leader of. Boy, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a coffee cake that he was opening over there. Honestly, coffee cake. Yeah, coffee cake. <laughs> coffee cake. Coffee cake. Why does it have to be coffee cake in general? Like, like this, specifically coffee cake. Because it sounded appetizing. In there. I don't know. And that's what you want. You want coffee cake? Do you I not? Coffee cake. I 
too. Yeah, yeah, coffee cake sounds fucking dope. Can we get some coffee cake? Some crumbles? Anybody that's watching this. Or strudel? Send us coffee cake. Send us some oh, coffee strudel. cake. We got a P.O. box. Ooh, yeah, strudel coffee cake. Did you know three, in Germany? Three, two? Like pipes everywhere that just like pump strudel. Sends out coffee cake? Oh. What's the P.O. box? I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Yeah, what's our P.O. box? I want to say it's P.O. box 3289 Paducah, Kentucky 42001. Is that it? 9382. Say it out loud. Yeah. 9382 but, uh, is our P.O. box. Yeah, I was wrong. Right se- number wrong sequence. Yeah. yeah. You're going to you're going to you're going to hear him say it, but you're going to read it different than what it was. Swear yeah. to God if somebody sends us coffee cake, I'll buy them a free t-shirt. Oh my god. I won't, but I appreciate the coffee cake. And if you want to buy yourself a t-shirt, you can go to the link in the description. Same price as a real coffee cake. Oh, okay. So we will be giving out fifteen dollar t shirts for yeah, a dollar right. coffee cake. Yeah, dollar, dollar twenty nine. Only the first person that does it. The first person that I see in the PO box that has sent me coffee cake. You can send me a piece of paper that says coffee cake. I will buy you a t shirt. I'm gonna buy you a t shirt. Thank you for a piece of paper. Now I'm hungry. Here's fifteen dollars. <laughs> I mean, by the time the coffee cake gets here, it's not gonna be good. It's in a. It's hostess, in a what? Hostess packaged coffee cake. Is that a real thing? Oh my god! How do you not? Yeah. How? Coffee have cake? Been, have you yeah. been into a? Gas I've never station? heard of coffee cake <laughs> until t- uh, until right now. What? All right, we're gonna have to go on break pretty soon and uh, Wait, make what? a Walmart run. Oh, I'm, about to, I'm about to go get some. Holy shit! You've never had coffee cake. I Is know. No. Crumb, cinnamon, awesome. It's delicious. Fluffy. It's so good. Yeah, you, you, you two need to take your hands off your chest because <laughs> I'm becoming a <laughs> natural reaction. Aaron, Aaron, this is where all my you've, feelings. You've, you've, for you've kind of had coffee cake. Yeah, oh Hold on. What? You, you've kind of had coffee cake. Do you remember those that brownie like crazy marble thing that I made? It's like, a brownie cookie. Yeah. That, that was coffee cake yeah. and. Uh, a brownie mixed together. You, wait, you made that? You made that and you didn't even call me? Do I look like somebody that would enjoy those things put together? Probably. I am. <laughs> I am somebody that would He enjoy is you coffee look cake, like that, apparently. Though. Thank you, I think. He looks like coffee cake? Uh, wait, you, can't, you guys can't see me. It's but the I'm brown. Thinking. On that note, yeah. we're going to take ourselves a quick break. That is correct. Now watch this wonderful ad. You know what? We should make an ad. You need to shut the fuck up. Are you tired of random strangers stopping you on the street and asking you a few science? Do you not have enough t-shirts with Nolan's face on them? Do you ever think to yourself, Man, I really wish I had some indie carnival merch that showed off my love of rational skepticism and also Nolan. Presenting the Does It Science t-shirt from the Indie Carnival store. Link in the description box below or go to teespring.com slash dis dash t. Thank you, because of your kind and generous support, Ricky's mother can eat another day. Welcome back to Phantom Nonsense. Um, yeah, be sure to... That's not your headphones. Nope. <laughs> Welcome back to Phantom Nonsense. Uh, be sure to watch this week's episode of Does It Science or buy a t-shirt, whatever ad we put up this week. I don't fucking know. Do the thing. Do the thing. And now, for the last time, for well, one of the last times for the next three weeks, the conversation of the hour. Oh, we have too sweet to be sour. Dibs. Call them butter and roll them in flour. I thought it was calling me butter because I don't know how to roll. Call me butter because I'm rolling in flour. It doesn't. Does that have to Welcome you? back to Pandemon. <laughs> <laughs> what about, all right. Um. Dragon Ball Super, yeah, wrapping really it up, really getting really super hard. Getting right, getting the way la- too close to the. We end. are in the last hour. We are of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, uh, last the last minute. minute. Last yeah, minute. last minute. Last last, last hour minute in sixteen last... years, probably. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. Oh man, I wish they'd be like, oh, by the way, the last episode's an hour long itself, or like, yeah, maybe like you're not, we're not gonna tell you what's happening this episode before so, yeah. the episode starts. I wish his actual final Jiren fight was an hour long. Like oh, we did it two episodes of it. Yeah, but you know, because but yeah, it'd be mostly filler though. It would be mostly. Oh well, no, Beers. I don't. Told him, I don't the think that out. there's. I don't think there's enough geography left oh, to make an not. interesting hour-long fight between Goku and Jiren. Like we don't have. Like we had a whole fucking planet yeah. for them to between Goku and Frieza. You know, or like Goku, Vegeta, and, and Boo. Still on stage. Yeah, still yeah. on so, stage, unconscious. Somebody yep. was talking about that right. before. They were like, "How, 
how is how is Frieza still on the stage after they just blew up that much more? Because it's still got to be on the same. Well, I don't know. They move at the speed of light or faster, so. Well, no, not faster. I mean, because Goku moves at the speed of light with its instant transmission. Yeah. Uh, okay. So they don't move faster. Like he's so literally Superman's still fast. Literally light whenever he does lose transmission. I mean, I guess. It, very much so. Superman's a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Goku Blanco. Goku Blanco was awesome. That was cool. I loved it. I so loved it. The, uh, Goku Blanco. Goku Blanco. I keep thinking of Street Fighter. Me too. Every Goku, time he Goku, says Goku it. Blanca. Yeah, Blanco <laughs> with white hair. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Blanco. Please tell me you're doing the thing, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, uh, I would really have appreciated it if they would have just left that that cow. Hmm? Goku yeah, Blanco. Yeah, kind of looks like him. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Blanco. That, that is like every image of Super Saiyan 5 that I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. I miss the old days when Goku, Blanco wasn't real, but at the same time, I've never been happier. Because, like, I, it's weird. I never believed it would actually happen that he'd go I white. I think he'd go white. Never thought he yeah. would ever I go mean, white. And they, everybody always makes it so much more crazy looking but he's so yeah, simple it, 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 he's every, so simple it's it's regular Goku but the people who draw he's an angel now the people who draw white haired Gokus probably draw like you know themselves as Sonic characters yeah, and, Ooh, yeah. yeah. and that's why like I never like like that what, where, yeah. what are you doing with that what's what that green that? that green uh, uh, I want to say sweater tied around your waist but I don't really actually know what to properly call it there's a there's a Are fan theory one? that's yeah. going around about the end of Super that after Goku wins, because he's going to win, the Grand Priest takes him. The Grand Priest... What? Where's the he Grand, Because nobody else has fully attained Ultra Instinct before except for the angels. Yeah, all the gods. He's the it. first so person... So hold on. So the Grand Priest is going to take him, and then with no context, no explanation, he's just going to be back yeah, to the... Yeah, yeah. 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 See that? Yeah, no, that's the hey, part Goku. that doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, but we it? know I that Goku's not going anywhere. We know that Goku's going to be the last. I mean, like they leader. could because there's going to be a break time. Yeah, but there's not going to be nothing in there though. Like there's going to be a break, and then the last episode. Like we're not going to get any of that, any of that story. That doesn't make sense to open up a whole different thing and not fucking show it. But I'm going to have another after, fucking goddamn series. We are. We absolutely are. That after, is in between in between the end of Z. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. After, after, after attaining after attaining the full power of Ultra Instinct, though, there's literally nobody other than gods. There's like three. Attainers. There's like three other characters that are known well, of well, that well, are going whole, to be able that's to. That's the whole thing with a shonen, though. When you reach that point to where your main character is unstoppable, that's it. Yeah, it's over. Well, so I mean, it just ends there. Depending, yeah. it depends yeah, they, on how you do it. I yeah. Mean, like I said, or they, they like, part off part off the knowledge to the next generation. You have, have a spin off. Then what's the point in going back to training Oop? Like that does that because seems like part off the knowledge to the next generation to have okay. a spin off or something. The, well, the problem is, is that like we discussed briefly earlier, is that Goku isn't stronger than Jiren, right? And so like right. you still have that room for growth. And like oh. I told you, he's a lot of the power that is. Able to defeat Jiren and no, he's going to be able to tap yeah, into it afterwards. That's what he does. The, 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 the problem has a greater understanding of his universe. The, is he able to use that? I feel like the okay. So with Ultra Instinct, he the gods, you know, they're they're selected, right? Like these gods of destruction were all selected because they were candidates chosen based around how strong they were, right? right. And so we know that by the time. Uh, Goku when Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken he was at least most of a challenge for Beerus yeah. and so like his strength has only increased since then even if at this fight he was probably stronger than Jiren or than Beerus was yeah. and knowing that he's not that strong it's like Ultra Instinct isn't I don't feel like it's a power I feel like it's because none of the other ones studied martial arts like Goku is a martial artist you know yeah. the rest are fighters mm -hmm. and so like he has that ability because I mean, when it, remember when he trained with uh, uh, that old man when they were fishing, and he was able to sense the the fish swimming in the water, mm -hmm. or when he was able to dodge lightning, or yeah. uh, being able to sense energy with Pogo. Like those were like unobtainables back in the day that a martial artist would need as a, as a supreme skill. Yeah. And so, like, I feel like that's what grants him that extra oomph into it. You know, right. obviously it's it's a shonen and it's Goku, so like. 
I, do, I fight for my friends. That's like, yeah. that's what happens. But I want, I want to believe that they can't stop here. You know what I mean? If he wants to, my theory, like I told him, is Oob being trained to be the new god of destruction. I, I think that Goku's story stopped at Frieza, and nothing relevant has happened in Goku's story since then. Yeah, the Cell Saga was the best arc that existed, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I mean, it, was I, perfect, absolutely. it was the perfect. Uh, it was the perfect passing of the torch. Yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Which, they I mean, and then they just decided to the torch burn out. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, there's like Gohan was reading while it was burning and just stuck the fire. There's a you know, there's a lot of different directions they can go. Um, with I I definitely I would definitely like to see more Dragon Ball. I just don't really think there's anything else interesting to, to do with Goku beyond Maybe. just. Fight someone stronger, get more powerful. Fight someone stronger, get more, get more powerful. Basically, like, the, can we go back to Grandpa Gohan? Would anybody be interested in that? Yeah, I mean, eh, uh, there's this really You'd cool. Have to do it very differently. You'd have to almost be a slice of life. Although, if you, I mean, you can go back to um, little snippets. Of to what was it? Smoking bears. Gohan trained Ro- trained Roshi, right? Or they were no, they were contemporary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Grandpa Gohan and Master Roshi trained. Uh, no, because Crane and Master Roshi. Crane, yeah, yeah, were, yeah, no, yeah. Gohan was trained underneath uh, 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 Roshi. Roshi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's like, right. Uh, Kurin trained. Uh, Corin, no, Kurin, Kurin. Um, Corin trained Roshi. Roshi was the only and, one. That... And Crane, in the Crane. Crane, room. Corin didn't. Yeah, train. no, because they were. Well, they were. He said contem- Roshi. Roshi and Crane were contemporaries. Well, Be- yeah, underneath, underneath. That uh, what was his name? The one that had the um, evil containment wave. Yeah, that guy. I meant uh, the corn, the cat. Corn. Yeah, he was Master Roshi was the only one that ever received. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I the, forgot the Master Roshi trained water. Yeah, yeah. But it took him three years. Yeah, that's to right. do it. And so, I mean, I would like to see a little, like mm-hmm. at least contemporary There's thing going. Yeah. One else. thing that I really like about about uh, Ultra Instinct, the well, the normal and perfected version, and um, fucking uh, Super Saiyan God is the is the use of Goku's normal aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Like he's got the normal hair. He's got the normal hair. Yeah, I like that. The the minute he mastered it, it finally gave what everybody wanted. The whole red and blue aura that finally came to play. Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> the original picture that they released was the red and the blue aura. But then every time he went Ultra Instinct after that, it was just blue. Everybody was like, well, maybe he's going Kaioken, mm-hmm. or maybe uh, Vegeta and him, you know, they're going to fuse together, and that's why it's red. That's the offensive side. And they're not, they weren't wrong. It, what The red aura meant that he had gained the offensive capability. Right. But what people were wrong about was the idea that there was a difference between mm-hmm. offensive and defensive. Yeah. It's just the simple fact of it is much easier to instinctually defend yourself than it is to instinctually attack. Because yes. attack requires, you know, you can just... You gotta think. Yeah, you attack guess. requires like a plan and strategy and you have to be able to get past that and just and let your body do the work, which is a lot harder to do to actually hit somebody than it is to just yeah. be like, oh, the first like, that's time... Just, well, it takes less energy to attack. Yeah. But, but the first time Goku, like... more consideration. The first time he breathed and he, uh... Uh, what... I'm sorry, I just lost my point. When he was attacking, um, and they were talking about how he is, he wasn't actually doing anything whatsoever. Like, and then he, he took that deep breath and he closed his eyes. Like, he even like realized himself. Like, and the heat started growing. Mm-hmm. Man, that yeah. was that was you know very. Yeah, thing. the it's moment something. he said, yeah, the moment he saw him close his eyes, you could just see that he knew what was about to happen. But, he had to just let it take hold. And then, like he realized, I feel like he realized I have to. Like, well, yeah, I gotta fight back. Yep. Especially when, it, at this moment right here, where he, he was pinned. He, there was nothing that he could do. And he was like, okay. And then he started fighting back, and Jiren was like, well, shit. You know? Yeah. Like, his guy's about, yeah. <laughs> about to be interesting. A, a side note, something that uh, we kind of veered off of for a second there, uh, about Gohan and him losing his flame and everything of that. Uh, in in fighter In Fighters... They have all these different. Uh, they have all these different like scenes. I know. <laughs> in all these different scenes that they have, uh, the like in in, in uh, no no not in the uh, in the actual story mode. Mm-hmm. Like you can pick different characters and yeah. have different scenes. There's this thing of Krillin and Adult Gohan against uh, the Ginyu Force. Oh yeah. Oh. Like and Krillin. Krillin uh, Sorry. And they all fall. Except Ruby. Krill. Uh, Krillin, like, uh, like, 
they're they're watching them do the poses, and Krillin just starts like making fun of them, mm-hmm. and Gohan's like, "No, like those those are actually good like techniques. Like you know they've gotten sharper. You know it's it's really nice. I can tell that they practiced." And Krillin's just like, "Wait, why why would you be following that weight?" This is where you got it from. <laughs> you getting like the him, same man him getting yeah the same man thing. Him getting beat senselessly as a kid by these people making these crazy yeah. dance moves was literally punched into yeah, his mind. Obviously, you get stronger when you do when you do uh, form M, and then like <laughs> and that's the one what, that's the one Ginyu does. Remember he's like bent yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh yeah. No Ginyu. Sh- he's There's like a part in the story mode where the Ginyu force is uh, introduced. Yeah. And, like as Frieza's minions currently. <laughs> like the scene like everybody just shits on the Ginyu Force <laughs> like, oh yeah uh, like everybody is just like shitting on the Ginyu Force it's the Ginyu Force man no uh, Saiyan man as the leader of the Ginyu but, Force go, <laughs> uh, Goku but oh yeah no Ginyu like, straight like if we were not mortal change. enemies if we were not mortal enemies I would totally make you a member of our team right. and he's like Goku or Gohan's just like oh man oh. <laughs> and fucking uh He's like, I respect you so much, I'm going to show you my best technique. <laughs> and it's just this the weirdest fucking pose of him, like, on one hand with his legs up in a V-shape in the air. And Krillin's still just, what? And <laughs> Gohan's just, I applaud you. Like, that's, that's nice. Like, that's, um, that's nice. I'm sorry, but, like, way... Okay. That's that's why Gohan does what he does, is because it got beat into Tra- him. Tracks you, Could Gohan. you imagine, uh... Ginyu, or not Ginyu, uh, but uh, Gohan going up to Captain Ginyu and being like, "Look at me, look at me, <laughs> I'm the captain now. I am, I am Captain Ginyu now." <laughs> yeah. And then, hey, then, then he goes, you, on, "Then he goes, character. you, yeah, you were Captain yeah. Ginyu now. Change." <laughs> I think, Super Saiyan Force. I think that it would be, uh, I think it would be pretty cool to see that happen when I see. You. Say a man join the Ginyu Force. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe, maybe the Ginyu's fight for good. Replaces Goldo? Yeah. Yeah. Super Saiyan Force. Super Saiyan Force. Wow. There it is. Yep. Super Saiyan Tai. <laughs> <laughs> Super Sentai. Ba, 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 they, ba, uh, da, da. What are you all Sentai? I think, I think Tracks really you. Talk to Sentai. Talk to Sentai. Super Sentai. I think whenever the first time I saw um, Revival of F, and I saw Tracksuit Gohan. I instantly got reminded of Hiro Nakamura from yeah. Heroes. Yeah. It was like this guy's like been a nerd his whole time, but he's like ready to break back out. Right. You know what I mean? And I mean, he kind of did. He half-assed it. Yeah. He definitely yeah. half-assed it. He was like, I just want to be back to where I lost the last time. And if right. I could just get that power back, I'd be great. You know? <laughs> and yeah, he's, he just was like, you know, I'm cool with just staying Mystic. That's fine. Well, no, it's not. No, I mean, he, he told not, Piccolo that he wanted to go to a new level. And he never did. No, well, a new level above being a, just a Super Saiyan one. Or I thought no, he does Super Saiyan two. He goes Super Saiyan two. In Revival of F, that no, not in Revival of F. Wait, he maybe go he does. Saiyan... Yeah, he goes Super Saiyan two in Revival of F. I thought no, because he gets the shit kicked out of him by Ginyu as that other dude, right? No, he didn't. Oh no, he beats Ginyu. He beats the shit out of Ginyu and then Frieza kills Ginyu. In the he kills yes. Ginyu in... and then he shoots he shoots Gohan multiple a bunch, times. Yeah, a bunch. And, yeah, and, and drops drops. But I didn't, and then Goku shows I didn't up. Think he went in the Golden Saiyan Frieza saga. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he went Super Saiyan two though. I could have sworn he did. Lightning bolts, and that's how yeah, Super yeah, Saiyan two bolts, works. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. That's how we define Super Saiyan two. Yeah. I mean, yes. That's uh, the clear sign. Minus the hair, it becomes sharper. Yeah. Is it only two warranted? <laughs> does he not? What? No, he does. Nothing. What? Go Super Saiyan 2 yeah, in the I, revival you of guys F. Are you telling me? Are you second guessing yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am I now. Don't. Then I'm right. It's secondly this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But are know. you saying it's this? <laughs> then obviously. <laughs> obviously. <What>? obviously. <laughs> but no, I just feel like he should have done it, but like go Vegeta's speech about like like when he when he looked back at oh what's his name? Universal Ball Clown Ball Ro or Ball Rod or something. Just call him it. Ball, Ball Rog, Barlog, whatever. Ball Rog. Uh, it the, the god, god of destruction. Belmog? Belmod, thank you. Uh, Balrog. 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 Balrog's that thing Gan- Gandalf fought, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, whenever he was like talking shit and Vegeta just looks Gandalf. at him and he's like, listen here, motherfucker, you've watched all of us Saiyans do some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. You think this is gonna happen? You're wrong. Like, don't don't give up on us yet. You're about to watch your dude get smashed. And All that faith in Goku that he has. That, that's uh, real. 
that really fucking did it for me. I knew like, it would. Oh, I knew it would. Like, like at home, no. Because it's yeah. Vegeta. I feel like his subtitles are a mustache different. Like, <laughs> that that side. He knew. He knew that his every time he said the word Kakarot, yeah. Goku was hearing it. Yeah, but Kakarot. Kakarot. But at you no, know it. Kakarot. He's obviously got to yeah. hear it over. Go- Everybody says like, Goku. Yeah. Vegeta's the difference. Vegeta is the one that he has to hear. But at no point, no surprise. In all of these years, would Vegeta ever have just like willingly handed over yeah. like? His like his moral responsibility yeah. to Goku. Ball. Like, tr- take it back about uh, ten seconds. That that face right and there. And then he closes his usually eyes. Usually, acceptance. That the, yeah. that face is the acceptance face because like most of the time, you know, Vegeta makes it that little uh, noise that he's like, I can't believe he's attained it before right. me. You know what yeah. I mean? But he knew. You know? Yeah. I think I think after the Goku Black fight was like one of the times uh, Goku Black versus him whenever he's beating him into the building screaming at him about Goku yeah. and about like he's like nice too. like nobody nobody could have like you can't use this because you're not a fucking idiot like he is who just knows how to fight for some goddamn reason <laughs> and you're fucking stupid for taking his body and not mine <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, like I told you at its core Dragon Ball Super is the story of Goku and Vegeta's bromance. Oh, yeah. Really and I'm super okay with that. Yeah, Dra- oh, yeah. Dragon Ball Super Best Friends. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's literally... Life, right? I mean, nobody else can keep up anyway. So, no, I mean... I mean, and that that's the whole reason why... Like, I feel like they will create a new show. A more explorative... They have... He has a new show coming out. Uh, I guess it's Toei. I don't know if it's Akira Toriyama himself, but a lot of the act voice actors are going to that show, right? Mm-hmm. So they have that new show, but whenever it was talked about, it was that that show was this was ending. They were creating another new show, and but it did not mean that it was the end of Dragon Ball as a franchise. <laughs> uh, they, they've that, they've said that there will be Screenshot movies, that games, and other media. Yes, they just haven't they haven't announced anything about a television. They haven't said like yeah. Well, like we're not, but they they could be keeping that tight lip until Super ends. They had to. I mean, they they've already recasted Bulma, um, her voice actor, yeah, yeah. actress, and the the Bulma flashback. Did her old yeah, actor? She it? her that she has everything filled out for the rest of Super. The original voice actress is doing all of Super, and then okay. using her uh, the recasted for the movie for and the movies for the games yeah, for anything right. that comes after right. And, which I think is super awesome. That yeah, they, yeah, that they have all that. On that file I mean, yeah, so they have enough footage oh, of I'm her sure. to do plenty. Yeah, I mean, I hope as long as her and her family are okay with that. They yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure I they figured they would be. Right. So, I mean, she's this has been her role for a long years. Yeah, forty years. Mm, 30. 80, 84, yeah, I think. 30, 30, 84 30. years. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eighty-four years. Man. Well, no. What, what a classic. Yeah. Because how long has Dragon Ball been out? Yeah, nineteen twenty. Eighty-four years. <laughs> <laughs> so we just told you. Uh, yeah. No. I, I think that they will make Howard, a new pay show. Fucking attention. I think they will make a new show, but I think it will be probably a good year after the movie comes out. Probably because the movie will come out, and people, you know, right now this is their cash cow. And people were like so stoked on this, but this is ending, and I don't know what they're filling their time slot with. Uh, but once this is over, I think One Piece is almost at a close, mm-hmm. and then they have emptiness, like, like except for My Hero Academia. But I want I want to see the movie because that it's the same thing that happened whenever uh, they released Battle of the Gods. You know what I mean? Hype train. Hype train. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Battle of the Gods mm-hmm. started such a theory of like, oh, he's going to every universe. That's what I keep saying. It was like he was supposed to go to every universe and yeah. just fight, kick and all the ass. He was supposed to fight right. every god of destruction along the way. Or they were, you know, and I thought that would be really interesting. But, I mean, you still have four unexplored universes that have characters that are stronger than Jiren. Don't let him go. Don't let, yeah, don't straight let him go. Like, I feel like they're going to end up doing I, I feel like there was like I heard something Wes told me that they were um, there was something that was like uh, until we meet again like the Dragon Ball GT. That's the name ending. of the last episode. That's yeah. the name of the, uh, of the next episode after this next one that comes out. Because he's fair. Will go. He straight up leaves with Oob, like which I'm I'm wondering like, basically just going to re re re-release the yeah, same ba- ending. Basically, yeah. Watch him watch him just yeah, release the same it's the same like, episode same probably, quality. It'll probably be the way they did it in Kai. Because in Kai, they just Kai is the exact same show, same scenes, but they've redone all the animation like this. Well, and that and and Kai takes out all of the the, of the filler, yeah. right? So it's, it's close to the manga as you're going to get. So that's yeah. why I want 
like I'm sure they'll put the Kai ending in because if you didn't watch Kai, like the way Kai played out was that Kai would finish at the exact same time that Super English dub would start. Right. And so like you'd be able to watch if you didn't watch Just, Dragon Ball Z. Right. Here you go. And right. And so you can watch all Dragon Ball Z again and catch up fast enough that way you can start watching Super and get right into it. Just like they did uh, with uh, GT mm-hmm. back back in the day. I remember it was like. Z, Z ended, and then like the next week, GT was out. I'm not right. positive on this information, but I'm pretty sure like so. By the time Super Super's at what the um, after the Universe Six Seven arc right now, they're already done with that uh, dubbed the yeah. dubbed version. Yeah, um, yeah, they're in the future trunks. They're in the future right. trunks. Yeah. So by the time this ends, by the time Super ends in America or the English dub, they'll be at the ends, Universal. They'll be well, at the right. Universal Spy the Tournament, which will, which will release the movie. At that, like finishing, you know, mm-hmm. um, the Jiren, the first episode where Ultra Goku went Ultra Instinct was the uh, most unwatched episode of Super in Japan. Like, really? Yeah. The first time he went Ultra Instinct, people did not want to watch it. They tuned out. Like, Why? I don't know. I'm not. Because they're waiting for there. Sean Schimmel to be Goku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They're waiting for the English dub version. It's like Cowboy Bebop. That's exactly what it is. Uh, <laughs> no, I, but so because I think because of that, like they're more focused on the. Uh, America than they are or for the United States and you know uh, yeah English, English speaking countries English speaking so. countries to be because they're more associated with shonens than I guess people <laughs> that, well, I mean, we'd yeah, rather wait an extra an extra amount of time we get the English dub mm-hmm. where we they, don't want to wait and they get had the English it for a sub. whole like ten twelve years before we we ever mm-hmm. even got it mm-hmm. yeah you know like. I kind of I kind of see the cultural fatigue on yeah on Dragon Ball but when it was released they were probably like what. And it's been like 20 years. What the fuck are you doing? Right. <laughs> like, how are you just getting this shit now? Right. And I, I mean, I'm personally like really excited. I mean, not only can they do a movie about that, but like we had talked about last time, a one shot of uh, the future trunks fighting Bobby and stuff, and see, seeing that's, what happens later. Uh, right. That's what I'd be interested in seeing is our OVAs. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like I think the only real problem with a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies are. Obviously, they have no relevance to canon. Yeah. And they all always seem to kind of end with a spirit bomb or a Kamehameha. Like, it's, yeah, the, it's the, the But they're good at introducing a villain, introducing a story, mm-hmm. and making something concise and contained. Like, I was. That's, that's why I'm pretty interested in this. Like, I, I think that the, the apps, the best thing ever to come out from the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, it's a hard call between the Bardock, Bardock movie absolutely. and the, and the history of Trunks. History of Trunks was awesome, but I did not like Trunks's character at the time. Yeah, you know I mean? like because the Trunks, I like Trunks through the, the Trunks, story. Yeah, the Trunks show. Yeah. I'm, I'm, our show. I'm 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 thinking specifically of just well done anime. Yeah, of just, um, of yeah, it, of no, just, just being like just right really here. well produced and just the. Him I would rather just see an hour and a half or two hours of something that's really really well done, and really really focused. And high quality, then get twenty episodes, uh, and only bullshit. three of them have yeah. any relevance whatsoever. Where they're they're not doing hand drawing hands because it's too much effort and yeah. things like that. Yeah, no, uh, Bardock, absolutely one of the now the episode I can do without, but like the, the episode, the, yeah, the episode the, where we go Super Saiyan. Yeah, yeah, it was the, the thirty minute. Yeah, yeah, the the Bardock, the father of Goku movie though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I have never enjoyed uh, a movie like that. And then, like, History of Trunks, like, especially him crying in the rain going Super Saiyan, fucking solid, dude. Yeah, like, Dead Gohan, beautiful moment. fuck. Yeah, man. Dead yeah. Gohan, yeah, that really brings, that, that puts scars in you. Yeah, and, well, not us, but <laughs> Trunks. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I could, if they, if they have the ability for this new movie to get me attached to this character... And, and, like, they have a lot of time to work on this shit. You right. know what I mean? Like, if they can get me attached to them and, and sink me into the story, and from what I understood, it was this guy is, the like, the nicest Saiyan, and he has a bad day, and all the rest of the Saiyans are like, you're a stupid bitch for being a good guy. And he's like, uh-uh, I got, I'm the best. <laughs> and so, like, uh-huh. yeah, and so, and then, like, he's got a group of friends that are like, yeah, we're with you, man, we're good people, too. And then, like, every Saiyan, like, it's supposed to be, like, all the Saiyans and all of the enemies of the Saiyans are like, nah, fuck that guy. And they, like, want to go beat him up. And so he dies in battle, supposedly fighting them. Right. And, like, that's... If you give, if you can get me hooked onto this character from the from the jump, I worry about something like that working in American cinema. Like, 
I worry about that. Like, I worry about a Dragon Ball movie in theaters and doing the whole Battle of Gods Resurrection F thing that is not focused on Goku and our normal crew. Mm. I, I honestly, I feel like they Me won't. Me too. I feel like they won't release it in theaters. They might do like a limited release like they did with uh, uh, Mary and the, the Witch's Flower. Yeah. Like, um, you can maybe watch it two days. Right. That's it. Like, we're only putting it up here because... We know we know some people will pay to go watch it. If, if yeah, they treat a theatrical run like it's basically just promotion for the DVD and Blu-ray, then yeah, it yeah. could, it could but work. I if it's like, actually trying to make its money back in theaters, yeah, I think it's going to be no, it'll be terrible. Yeah. Like they have a full year. This gives them all the time. It's it's one in, uh, probably an hour and a half, maybe, and probably yeah. an hour and twenty. Yeah, probably minutes, minus all the fucking. Clips. We're gonna but, we're gonna have a preview of the yeah, whole movie, the whole the movie that way, you can, and then we'll give you the theme song, and then tell you what happened before all of this. Right, the, the universe we're, was. Born. We're gonna start with a <laughs> we're gonna start with a previously on of the entire right. franchise. So like, I feel like they would probably. I mean, they're probably going to have it dubbed. You've given us this the much cast. Yeah. yeah, like if you've given us this much forewarning on it, like you should by all means have it. Ready to go, and instead of being like Battle of the Gods, where Battle of the Gods came out, I read the entire synopsis for Battle of the Gods. I went and paid to go see Battle of the Gods. Mm-hmm. I bought Battle of the Gods. You know, right. like <laughs> I have already, I already watched the movie, but I didn't know what the fuck they were saying. I just understood the context. You know, right. I, I would rather just get it. You know what I mean? And yeah. if they're like, oh hey, we just released a new DVD and Blu-ray, and you can buy it now. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, fuck you, buy. <laughs> I've got this. I, I'm not gonna. I don't, I don't feel like I have it in me to pay to go watch another Dragon Ball Z movie in a theater. I, I think really? they take me out of it. At all the fans, I love. Yeah. I love. I love the Dragon Ball Z. Dragon I thought Ball that fans, was so cool to see in theaters. It see was. Goku well, in theaters. I mean, I, mean, I don't think theater. that it's. I don't think it's on a scale to work in theaters. On it's not. It's not yeah. something that. It's, I can't watch I, with uh, this group of people. I could sit and watch it. Right. But. There is always going to be like the, Jack ooh, and John down yeah. the way that don't understand that this oh, this Jack is a heavy fucking moment. The people that talk during the quiet scene in mm. fucking The Last Jedi, mm-hmm. like, uh, those people exist, and I can't do that, yeah, you do. know? Like, this is something that I feel too much for. I didn't need y'all to shut the fuck up. No. Heck up. Sorry. Quick. What? I apologize. Quick, di- watching? quick diversion, <laughs> but I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like we're at a point where all movies kind of need to do that, like, just a quick release in theaters. I mean, mm-hmm. keep it, keep moving in theaters. But speed up the the home release yeah. process because a, a whole year after Battle of the Gods was released yeah. in Japan, then we finally got it in a short release in theaters. Right. Like, and then I had to wait another six, seven months yeah. for the DVD. Like, yeah. you should have just sent it here in a DVD. Right. The people that want to go see a movie in theaters and want to have that experience will go see the movie nine times mm-hmm. out of ten within the first week. Mm-hmm. After that, like, no, just yeah, just people are like I heard about this. I'm like, and they're gonna go check it out. Yeah. You know what I mean, put it on, put it on Netflix. Put it out. Keep it in, keep in that's theaters. That's a great idea, too. Yeah. If they just put the movie straight to Crunchyroll or straight to yeah. Funimation. Yeah. In, and I'm, watch it there. that's what I'm saying. I'm talking, like, just movies in, in general, not just right. not just right, this. Right, like, right, yeah. Right. But, yeah, like, if they just... If they went straight to... Some, especially something like, something like this that is going to... Like, I feel like they need to be quick to get it uh, physically released if they're going to do a theatrical release to keep the hype up. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah, because... You can go see it in theaters and... Boom! Next week, there, there it is. Or have the fucking ad for the for the Blu-ray right, right. there in the like. I think available that, tomorrow. Like. I think it's a very awesome idea for them to do a Netflix type like we we created this and like or Funimation to do it since they have their own streaming service and stream it both equally, you know, subbed and dubbed mm-hmm. on the Funimation website or the app. Sorry, Verve also is an yeah. option. You know, whatever, yeah. whatever you choose to watch your, you know, your. Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon content. Ball, con- yeah. I was gonna say anime on. How are you watching? I still want to see watch it. Spinoff, and I know I'm never gonna get what, it. A what, what, spin-off? What, what? What did he do between like? Yeah. A who spinoff? Tien. We get so many gaps with. Tien. There, yeah. There was yeah. a lot of in that. Also, shoulders I think he's get the only other Z fighter that I could legitimately see getting Ultra Instinct. Well, yeah. Yeah. So disappointed him. Yes, that's yeah, very true too. Here's my question. I could see with Krillin. Yeah, I could see yeah. with Krillin too. Yeah, Poison. yeah, because he's had similar experiences. I don't know if his emotional. Yeah, his emotional. He I mean, he would need care- to Krillin would need a character arc to get there. Yeah, for sure. Here's but Tien, I could see just yeah. being able to like figure it out, that. Yeah. closing all three of those eyes and just letting it go. Right. Nah, keep the third one open, baby. Ooh, yeah. that's even cooler. That would be cool. Oh, that. 
that's so cool. Like all three close, and then just that one opens mm-hmm. as he gets the he heat. Gets little white, little white spin in it. So assuming that we're basically going to have a rehash of the last uh, chapter of, of Dragon Ball and the last episode of no, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, no. Yeah. Manga. Uh, last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Last chapter of Dragon Ball. Um, how do we think the next one's going to go? Next series? No, the next episode. Oh. This next episode is mean, basically the win. finale. Uh, I think we're going to get uh, some, I think some pretty decent soul punches. Simple and Man, shirtless Goku, shirtless Jiren, it's going to be an epic-ass brawl. But it's, in the end, Goku takes the crown. I think that the way it'll end is him and Jiren will go at it and keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. Run out of time. Run out of time. Yeah. And Universe 7 will win because they have the most fighters on the stage. Yep. And Absolutely. Frieza will have the most knockouts, get MVP, I guess. Frieza? Uh, no, Go, no, Vegeta over, has over, the most over knockouts. Goku. Well, last time we had this conversation, I thought that we were doing, uh, I didn't know if we were doing just who's in the game or who's no, out of the game. No, MVP. Uh, would be anybody that had the most anybody knockouts. Anybody who was on the, the team. Universe. Yeah, okay. I feel oh, like it's team. still on the You're stage. Right. Let's see now. Uh, okay. I mean, now, yeah. I know. The most valued player. Has to be the one that contributes the most. Which would be Vegeta. That doesn't necessarily yeah. mean they're still on the board. I mean, even still, what would no? There's been no talks whatsoever of what Goku would wish for if he won. For what all would, the, for all of the universe dinner, to come back. Probably, yeah, who knows? You, Goku would wish for. A, I'm really hungry. I'd I'd like a meal. I want to fight. I want to do that again. <laughs> right. have my like subtracts fifty minutes right back into it. Right. I think yeah. that he will wait, uh, wish for all the none of the universes to. Yeah, You'll bring back sure. all the universes. I know that. You think that'll piss off Zeno? No, I don't think it will. Hey. I feel like, you know yeah, Zeno like, doesn't get mad about anything. You know, like, He's like, "Oh, that's so cool! You took back everything I wanted to do to begin it? with." Oh, <laughs> Goku's amazing. You yeah, but you're in super, super amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now Goku's super, super, super amazing. <laughs> He's like, Thanks, yes, man. this is all a super development. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh and by the way, where the fuck? Was Beerus like thirty fucking episodes telling those yeah. motherfuckers to shut, shut the up. fuck up? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, finally it's been said. Like the audience has said it in every goddamn episode. <laughs> Damn. Finally, Beerus heard. He That's heard it right. from the boy. There's only, there's really only two ways for, for a shonen to end. Either your main character, in the last big battle, gets a big power boost. At the end of the first half of the fight, and the second episode, a little bit of fighting, but probably about 70% of the episode is going to be expo- exposition mm-hmm. and wrapping things up. Yep. Or you have the... the char- if they don't get a power-up, then the character loses their powers and somehow has to magically get them back within the episode so they can defeat the villain. Yeah, That's right. the way it always goes. Yeah. And this one, Goku... Like, Goku against, against Boo, like, he lost all of his fucking strength, mm-hmm. and then the fucking third wish to get his be able to go back to Super Saiyan yep. and push the spirit bomb and win the fight. This time he actually got a new level. So I'm going to say that before the break, we're going to see the end we're gonna see the time run out. I uh, yeah, I'd say before the break, you're gonna see Jiren and Goku getting ready to fight and or getting ready to like meet and right before they can meet you'll see like Grand Prix will like stop them and yep. like times up. You think Zeno will let that happen though? Yeah. Yeah. He said that the be, Yeah, but the the rules have been he's broken. Be like, he's, I'm t- I don't know this for sure, but I'm feeling like he's just gonna be like, "That was so cool. You both get to live for sure. Like, I want to see you guys come back and do this again." Oh, and I, then you get another universe survival arc. I would I like, would see them more being like, "No, we like the, fuck the time limit. Let's see this go down." No, no. I mean, simple. Goku Goku wants to do it too, but Goku no, just now mastered a new form. Jiren knows he can get stronger, and both of them would like to come back when they're both full strength and fight each other. You know what I mean? That's how Goku's hard ons work. I feel like that'll be a letdown. <laughs> All of it's gonna be a oh, letdown. No, it's that's definitely gonna be a letdown. It's gonna be a letdown if, if even if Goku fucking knocks the shit out of Jiren and pushes him off the ring. It was a, it was a letdown when they announced that that Super was ending. Yeah. With how long had like four episodes left like, and, uh, have, and being yeah. nowhere near the resolution of this yeah. fight with still a lot more just for the show itself to resolve, let alone this fight. This arc, yep, like it was, it's way too fast. It yeah, is way. I wish that it wasn't going to be this way, man. Like, so, lots this of reused animation this, in this episode. This, yeah, oh, yeah. This is this was like yeah. if they if they had an, this is like if they had announced that like on the episode that Vegito got absorbed by Super Boo, that Z was ending in four or five episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just like how yeah, with the pacing right. of this show, how are you going to resolve this? 
and the, coherently yeah. in this amount of time. You know, you. I know they're gonna do fine, but I they. Don't. I know it'll be. I know it'll be fine because the only thing that they need, like, it'll probably be what the breaks at, like what the eleven, no, twelve or thirteen minute mark. I mean, if you That's count everything, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, More like seven. Yeah. Right. Um, so that break happens. It'll pro. It probably won't be close till the end of the break. Uh, I feel like it'll be after the break that they that it they stop fighting. I feel and like they're gonna like the break is going to be that hit that last yeah. fucking like this is the game breaker fucking yeah. hit. It's going and then oh my, oh, 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 oh and then yeah. bing times up. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Like right when they get right back to it, it's gonna be like no, yeah. sorry guys. You know, you we had two minutes remaining in an episode and a half ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're telling me like. Things just got fucking. No, real. we were down to a minute. Episode half ago, I think. Were you? I yeah. think we're we we're down to a minute. I say it was two. It was two minutes versus Vegeta versus uh, uh, Tobo. I could have sworn we. I could have sworn they've said one minute, and since I don't then, think they've said any time since then. I don't know that. For, I can't like guarantee that that's positive. I remember it dropped. Yeah, uh, the 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 pillar of time mm-hmm. yeah. dropped uh, last episode. I want to say. I think so. And so, like, it was, like, right before they started fighting, or, like, right while they were fighting, the pillar dropped as, like, a point of reference. And so, now we get this next episode. Time's totally running out. And it's the only way, it's the only feasible way for this to end, because you, Jiren is much stronger than Goku. And, yes, they're having a battle right now, but, like, Goku is not injuring Jiren. Right. You you can always tell how how hurt a character is in Dragon Ball by how many scuff marks they have on them, Mm -hmm. you know? And Jiren hasn't wasted. Jiren's not out of breath. Jiren's not got a scuff marks on him. He's missing his shirt, which I mean, it's possible Jiren could just not have the kind of mentality to be able to show, even if he was. Right, you can tell by his eyes. I talked about this in a in a previous episode. There was some fear in his eyes. But but, I mean, normally his eyes are just like one solid color, like the entire thing. But whenever yeah, whenever he's in a a state of pain or something of that nature. You actually see his pupils and everything, like much more heavily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like because his sure. his eyes his eyes give him different powers, and I, I believe that like that itself is something of a power that's just stationary. When but whenever he's taken pupils. off guard, that's whenever you actually see what his eyes normally look like. When it showed his like parents dying uh, or his village <laughs> dying, it was the, <laughs> it was the same thing. Yeah, no, his eyes did the same thing, like the shaky little terrible yeah. fucking look in his eyes. Yeah, I mean, of course, your family just died. But hey, so, yeah. what's your Hmm? What's your take? What, what, what do I think is going to happen mm-hmm. next episode? Um, I think <laughs> Goku and Freezer are going to fuse with the Patera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, that's how they take out uh, Jiren. Yeah. How, but they accidentally kill him. Golden instinct. <laughs> yeah. Just bring back the fucking Golden Ozaro, bro. Yeah. There you go. Tie GT into the end of Super, you're winning. No, just, see, uh, no. <laughs> I think, I think. Legitimately, that's probably... Which you guys are saying is probably the only yeah. way it's gonna end. Right. But yeah. that's what I want to have happen. That would be dumb. <laughs> but I would be very love dumb. it. I would love it. Yeah. I, got one I like that a lot more than what's gonna happen. At the end, uh, in one of the new Dragon Balls universe uh, DLCs, is you have to help train Goku and Vegeta inside of Whis's like hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they end up like being with some guy that's like evil or something, and end up. Uh, using that feel that the the energy that they're feeling that goes Super Saiyan four because it's putting off the same energy as a full moon. They had the the what are those the the whatever rays the zeta rays or theta rays or whatever. Uh, so, flux waves. Yeah, flux waves. <laughs> Blux so, waves. Blux, yeah. Blux, I think it's said flux. Yeah. Uh, like capacitor. The yeah. flux capacitor. Uh, but no, the, the Blux, Blux wave, whatever. Uh, are there, it becomes Super Saiyan, you have to get your DeLorean. Yeah, exactly. Well, right. <laughs> then have enough S cells your, inside of it. Get your yeah. high block time chamber up to 80 gravity. <laughs> so, like, apparently they end up going Super Saiyan 4 in there, and, like, Vegeta's like, so this is what it feels like to be a god. And, like, uh, Supreme Kai of Time saying, like, Oh no, that's the wrong form. If you don't fix this, yeah, I watched that video. I watched that video. Yeah, Yeah. super cool. Yeah, and then Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue, and then they're just like, so this is what this is what actually look at becoming a god looks like. Yeah, Um, yeah. I mean, SSG four like a Super Saiyan four is fucking. He's just in there like, wow, that shit's cool. (laughs) I want to do that. I'd like to see. I don't know. I mean, I know Xenoverse. I don't want to see that. This ties it all in together for you. That way, you don't have to worry about everything happens everywhere. Don't worry about it. Right. (laughs) <laughs> Multiverse theory, right? Yeah. Super, what was it? Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito, 
Ultra Instinct, yeah. Kyle Ken, Kyle Twenty, Ozaru, Ozaru, Ozaru. Oh my God, I forgot about the that. Most sentient Ozaru, the most powerful Ozaru. being known to man. Yeah, literally picking up the Super Dragon Balls and juggling them. Yeah, yeah. Mm, this is awesome. Just, the, the dragon's the like, way, stop. The the way, what are you going to do about Vegeta it? Vegeta just wrecks mountains. He just wrecks universes. Yeah, yeah. yeah just literally. I mean, fuck. Goku can apparently just shit one out of himself. So. Yeah. And then really suck it right suck back it up right his back ass. In. No, he shoots it out of his ass and sucks it through his mouth as he inhales super awkwardly. So we're, <laughs> so we're three to one. Time. Yep. We're three to one on um, on Goku, uh, on the time running out versus Goku actually winning the tournament. What do you think, Ball? Oh, uh, my vote is officially for him. I have to agree with no Man. one. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip see. mine and make it uh, a fifty. I honestly think Frieza's gonna try to something. come back at the very last oh. second, and some stupid shit's gonna happen. I do. I know it's. I know it's there too. Like it's, yeah. But I just think like, I just have hope. Frieza will save the day. Oh, oh, yeah. It's gonna be. It's, 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 it honestly might be like a little bit of a, a letdown if like nothing else happens with Frieza. I mean, I yeah. feel like it'll be oh. just fine if Frieza just like wakes up like. What happened? The only Where am I? as it ends, yeah, just still on the stage. I'm I'm ready for that though because the only character that I feel like actually has like good resolution in this show, well, yeah. Seventeen and Vegeta have actually had like good character arcs and complete completed stories. Everybody else, I'm already disappointed in. So I'm I'm ready to be disappointed in how they resolve resolve Frieza. But we'll find out about that next week, and we will let you guys know all about it. On Phantom Nonsense, I'm Zach. I'm Aaron. I'm also Coco. And I'm also Nolan. And I'm Dick. I'm, I'm also you. Aaron. You're too late. Go fuck yourself. You ruined it. <laughs> yeah. You ruined it. We're done. Bye.